ladies and gentlemen, Picking Chair Productions presents Storytime with Uncle Benji. So you're back for another story, are you? Well, I believe I got a real good one here for you this time. There's a lot of good lessons to be learned in this one. Not only for you youngins, but also us old folks can learn a lesson or two from this one. This book is called God Made You Just Right. It's written by Jill Roman Lord and illustrated by Emmy Warmer. Looks like a pretty fun book already. Let's see what's inside here. God made you very special, and I hope you know it's true. You're brilliantly created, and there's no one else like you. You know, think about that. You're the only one that's ever been made from creation, and there'll never be another one just like you. That's just how special you are. He made you so adorable, just the perfect size. He knew what would make you giggle and bring sparkle to your eyes. He knows what'll make us happy. God picked the finest hair for you. He chose the perfect nose. He placed those tickly spots right on your tummy and on your toes. So he likes to laugh too. He even picked it where we could get tickled and laugh and have fun. Let's look at this. It looks like almost tickling a little. Looks like they're having a good time, don't it? You know, even the Bible says laughter doeth good like a medicine. So it's good to be happy and joyful. He planned the special uses of the fingers on your hand to help bake yummy cookies and build castles in the sand. God must have given lots of thought to make your arms just right to throw a ball, hold a cat, and give hugged, snug and tight. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Everybody likes a good hug. He made your two legs super strong to run and jump and play and blessed you with a silliness to brighten someone's day. You know, even us old folks, there's been times that we might have said something silly or funny. And I've heard people say, well, you just made my day right there. You know, and that right there, in turn, makes our day. He gave you such a gentle heart with so much love to share. You find the kindest words to say to show how much you care. See somebody, looks like they might be down or having a bad day. Just smile at them and tell them, hope you're having a good day. Sometimes a smile will do wonders. Your mind was a creative gift. God went to the extreme. He gave you special thoughts to think and special dreams to dream. Like learning how to play the drums and sing some rock and roll. Or practicing your soccer skills to kick the winning goal. He picked the gifts and talents that just you alone would need to fit into his perfect plan, bless others, and succeed. So don't worry about what other people have got or doing or saying or what they say about you or think about you. You're the only one ever created and the only one that ever will be of you. You are very special. You're a once-in-history creation of the Lord. You may not be like other kids. That's not your job to do. But no one else can do the job of being you like you. You are God's amazing work of art, adored one of a kind. You're wiggly, giggly, super fun, and lovingly designed. And in the Bible, Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, 
declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So when the Lord created us, he already had a plan for us. He already knew what he wanted us to do. And what I would do, young and old, you don't have to be young. There's a lot of good truth in this little book. Every night we would lay down and say our prayers. Ask the Lord what he would have us do and be and show us how we need to act. Because he's the one that created us according to his plan. And don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You just be you to the best of your ability before the good Lord. This has been Storytime with Uncle Benji.